How's Tepe's condition? I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency, I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the ban, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but they still intend to keep using them. Okay. I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. What are your thoughts? No, it's too dangerous! The Sakoku Decree is still in force, so their delusions must be produced within Inazuma's borders. To organize an operation of this scale, they will have had to mobilize a huge amount of manpower and resources. They can't have done it without local support. If we want to stop them, we have to destroy the factory where the delusions are made. But it's sure to be heavily guarded. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. At least take some troops with you. Your Excellency, given the urgency of the situation, we were hardly discreet when confiscating the delusions. The Fatui are sure to take notice. If we spend any longer amassing our forces, they will get wind of our plans and make their escape. Very true. Let me think. I gave this some thought while you were confiscating the delusions. The side of the factory must be big and secluded, but close enough to a transport route to ensure the supply of raw materials. Not many places meet these criteria, and if we take the locations where our soldiers receive their delusions into account as well, I suspect the site is likely to be the cliffs, near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. I'm not going to stop you, but please, be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you too. Huh? You mean... To the Delusion Factory? Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Ugh, fine. care of it. Way behind schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Let the show begin. Yeah. Yeah. 
solidify. actually managed to find this place. Congratulations. Ha! <laughs> Barely two words in. And you already look like you want me dead. Oh! So that's what this is about. I think you've got the wrong idea. I know how this looks, but I'm just here to follow orders. I'm obviously not the mastermind behind this. Aren't you supposed to be pretty tough? What are you waiting for? Go get them. You're getting all worked up over nothing. <laughs> You've changed. You're getting weak. How can you say this is nothing? How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. They were always going to die. With or without a delusion. At least having one gives them a chance to fulfill their ambitions. Do you have any idea how useful the Vision Hunt decree is to us? It took a lot of work to make it happen. Obviously, it was in our best interests. Good news is, our hard work is finally paying off. Generating conflict creates a big market for delusions. Now we just let the promise of power draw in the weak. For just a small price, they get the feeling of controlling the world, trading their life for supreme power. Pretty good deal, don't you think? So, the Fatui started the Vision Hunt Decree? You've been behind it all along? From the outside, Inazuma looks pretty impenetrable. But on the inside, it's a land of opportunity. With a little effort, we were able to break them down from within. Eternity stretches things out over a long time. But each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. Take your friend in the Resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. Just like a bubble on the water. Beautiful for a moment, then total destruction. The more it takes from them, the more tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. <laughs> It's such a farce. You have to see the funny side. Hey, calm down! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it. Just like that. Embrace the anger. Embrace it! The wrath of the gods fills this factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> What's happening? Get up! Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Oh? You recognize me right away. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. about something. Uh, how come you're acting so differently from when we first met you? Am I? 
Maybe it's because I had the other Shrine Maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society. <sighs> At the moment, anyway. And I'm just doing as I please. Uh, Paimon didn't quite follow. <laughs> Study humans a while longer, my little friend. You'll see what I mean. Right! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off our backs! What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine? and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant. Would you believe me? <laughs> well, maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Hmm, maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> hmm. The delusions. They're still on your mind, aren't they? You needn't worry. The leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah, oh, I must say, I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. Well, anyway, that's Ngonomiya Kokomi. She really outdid herself this time. I'd love to have another chat with her again in person, but alas, Belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. A hindrance? Should you really be saying that as the Gucci of the Grand Shrine? Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. You've met her, right? I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? Yes, the true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Her name is A. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? And does that mean that when the battlefield changed, so did the opponent? Because this is the ride in Shogun's eternity. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. And since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. That she carved open with her sword. The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. She shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Huh. <sighs> this is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liu as Archon. What a fascinating god he is. It seems like the Ride in Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. 
And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of loss. The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. The key is that the Plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. So this is your plan? To abolish the Vision Hunt Decree? Not by talking her out of it, or through an armed resistance, but by, uh, hopping inside the Raiden Shogun's inner world? You're a fast learner. In short, this is the last chance to get Inazuma back on track. Otherwise, an eternity of darkness awaits. Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because she has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say, well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? anti Raiden Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Come along. I wonder when I'll be a 